everybody out there, I want to get your uh, get your blankets on, get all your horror get all your horror stuff on because it's getting real scary out here tonight. My Jake Paul poster is still doing good here. No weaknesses right now. Chat, everybody in the chat, shush. No more, no more, no, no, shush. I want complete silence for this video. Out of respect. We're about to watch 10 unexplained goblin sightings from all over the world. This is one of the great masterpieces of YouTube. This is one of my all-time favorite videos. Goblins are a terrifying entity to think about. Is this the funny one, babe? I think that's a new one. Again. This is a new and goblin said, video? Let. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. This is not the classic masterpiece. This is just some normal shitty okay. goblin video. Let's begin. The tiny hopping goblin. One afternoon, someone was oh, filming yeah. a little boy playing with his soccer ball, and when the boy accidentally kicked the ball into the hallway, oh, he appears a little reluctant to go out and get the ball. What he sees next sends a shriek of terror <laughs> through everyone's spines. And in the camera frame, you can see a small creature. Oh, fuck! Through the it's frame. a goblin! It's too small to be a rabbit, and it doesn't appear to have a long torso or hind legs. No one's really sure what it is, and it's only. That's a fucking squirrel. <laughs> the squirrel scared the shit out of that kid. Oh, yeah in the camera frame for a few seconds but it's scary enough to send the little boy crying yeah there he sure is if he ever got his ball back or if the family stayed in that home yeah they probably moved out and they probably oh, probably yeah. never got the ball back from the goblin sad sad story it could have been some kind of small rodent for all we know yeah that's what the i said it's a squirrel terror. while kids were out playing soccer at night in a quiet town oh, and this is a thing i've noticed about um goblins they only strike when kids are playing soccer. So don't, like, at night, don't be playing soccer. The Running Goblin. Oops. Oh, the Running what Goblins. This could be someone's backyard camera or security camera. It looks like another quiet night. Their backyard is lit perfectly well and... So, okay, this is what I'm getting. Goblins will appear even if it's a perfectly lit area. But if you're playing soccer, that will draw the attention of a goblin. However, things take a bit of a weird turn as some small objects, smaller than the fence, begin to run alongside the some fence. Some fucking squirrels, you stupid ass asshole. Oh, yeah. That's not goblins. It's not a proven goblin. This is all just squirrels. It appears to be about a dozen oh, objects yeah. running in unison, dressed exactly the same with the same body type and appearance. Towards the end of the what? video, we can see a couple of objects fly over the fence and stop moving. There could be a simple explanation for this. <gasps> Perhaps it was a group of kids running and two of the kids removed particles of clothing to throw them over the fence, but why are they running and what are they running from? Why did two people randomly remove particles of clothing oh, yeah. to throw them over a fence and why did they all look the exact same, even <gasps> the clothes? Goblins! Have been escaped prisoners from a nearby holding <laughs> facility? <laughs> Great reactions. Could it have been a Tui? Could it have been escaped prisoners from a nearby holding facility? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's the most likely scenario. So many questions to this video that just may never get answered. Yeah, that's Out a lot of questions. Wood. I'm thinking. I'm just throwing this out there. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking it was goblins. When a video starts out in the woods, you know it's probably not going to go well or end with a happy ending. Yep. We're not sure exactly where these people are filming, but they appear to be walking around in the woods and stumble upon an abandoned structure. A little creature peers around the corner of the pillar and then <gasps> goes back behind the pillar quickly. Goblin. Guys. Oh, yeah. Goblin. Goblin! Disappearing into the shadows. While the video isn't perfect quality. Oh, the goblin went like this. He went. Whoa, don't fall out. Oh, yeah. The goblin went like. That's a real goblin. It 
looks like an image of a person that's really small. They try to follow the creature and slowly pan the camera around the edge of the pillar to see if they can still catch a glimpse of the creature, but it's gone with no oh, traces of anything behind the pillar. I'm gonna have nightmares about this video. This could easily be faked, but nonetheless, nope. it's rather nope. interesting. This is real, this is real. Don't listen to this guy. Don't listen to this guy. This is real. This is real footage. You can tell by the image of the goblin. Do you think it's a computer-generated person? No! It looks so much like a person? No, you ass! This man is an ass! He looks at fucking three squirrels running around a fucking building and he goes, Is that an escape prisoner? Then he sees footage of a real goblin and he goes, No, that's not real. This is, this is why I can't take goblin video seriously anymore. The Wandering Goblin. We see someone filming oh, from yeah. the second floor of what we <laughs> somewhere in South America. The camera starts out with a shot of their dog in the film, and they quickly pan down to the floor level where a little girl is playing on her bike. Oh, she nah. walks over to the side of the house to pick oh, something yeah. up, and as she's walking back, we see a small creature that looks like a goblin or leprechaun oh, casually oh. strolling through as if he lived there. Oh. The girl was obviously frightened. That's a gnome. Oh, yeah. Stupid ass video. This video doesn't know what the different creatures are of the world. That's a little known. This is a more this is a moronic video. And the image of the small creature sent her running for cover. Oh, That's a gnome! They fucking go there. Jesus Christ. Can I get some gnomers in the chat for for crying out loud out here? But the creature oh, didn't yeah. seem to react to the child screaming. It just kept walking as if it had some. That's a no! We have no idea where this was filmed or what the outcome of this video was, but it's still scary nonetheless. And no, it's not scary. Oh, it's yeah. a little gnome. The only thing we know for sure is that it definitely oh, yeah. wasn't human. <laughs> <laughs> I like this narrator for this video. <laughs> The small oh, yeah. running goblin. Oh no, the small the running, starts, the small running goblin. It's out harmless enough. We see someone just filming their child as most parents do. Or is that baby really a goblin? Everything a child does is precious, and parents certainly <laughs> like to overdo it when it comes to sharing moments of their children and their actions, even if the child's just sitting there doing nothing. This is, this is a shit video. This baby is not a good YouTuber. He's just sitting there on the floor. That's nothing. This is a this is a garbage video. Thing being wrong until a few seconds in, when out of nowhere, this small creature appears to be running for cover. What the fuck? This small creature runs behind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck, that's a real goblin! to be a stand or table. Even the child catches a glimpse of the small creature because he looks under the desk to see if he can spot him again. Oh, We're not sure yeah. if they ever caught another glimpse of the creature, <laughs> and the child didn't seem to find it either. We're not certain what exactly there he goes. they caught on camera, but this is a little goblin. tell you that it didn't seem human. It seemed nope. rather quick for its small size. It seemed very goblin-like. Very goblin-like. That This is proof that goblins are real. People keep saying... People keep saying no, but it's... But you can see the proof is on the video. The creature looks kind of green or brownish. It looks like it's balding and almost looks oh, like an alien. It might be an might be an alien, guys. It's not fake. Don't say this is fake. This is not a fake goblin. That's an alien. The sideways moving goblin. Oh, I can't handle this. I can't handle the sideways moving goblin. I can't watch this. In a grainy security home video or a hallway video, we're not exactly sure where this video comes from, but the video is straight to the point. Does the, the goblin only thing we see in the end is some weird ah! oh limping creature that seems to be holding something in its right or left hand. We can't tell if the back or front is turned towards us, and it appears to be limping as it moves to the right of the frame. It almost moves as if it's a doll that's being Alright, I'm gonna be honest, guys. At first I was scared. Now I'm realizing this is actually a squirrel. Oh, yeah. Just with night vision. Sprung along in perfect rhythm, but that would take some serious coordination to pull off, which makes us- It's a squirrel! Oh, Jeez. I think it's not so much a doll as it is an otherworldly creature that- It's not an otherworldly creature, you ass. It's a goddamn squirrel. This is- you know oh, yeah. what? Putting that down. 
turn this off. I'm done. Spider-Man Goblin. I want I want silence. I want total silence for this one. Spider-Man Goblin. This is going to be good. What we see is a quiet residential neighborhood and an apartment complex. Everything seems rather oh, quiet yeah. and no one's outside, but then we see this shadowy like figure appear and start moving in between windows and in between the apartments. We're not sure exactly what the figure is looking for or if they're trying to find oh, yeah. an open window. No, no, no. This is why you should never leave your window open at night because you Because you never know when Spider-Man Goblin might come in through your window. The creature appears to be rather small, and it looks like it knows how to scale walls and climb along the side of the building. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Which is even more terrifying. It doesn't move or look like any known animal, so we can only assume that the video has to either be fake- Spider-Man? It's either Spider-Man or, uh, Wolverine. Or that this was something we'll never be able to explain. Well, I can explain it. That's Spider-Man. That's, that's just the real spy, real life Spider-Man. Or it could be Green Goblin. Photo in a photo. Oh, yeah. One of the most crystal clear cases of a goblin sighting would have to be this last image we have. That's proof. That's okay. I want everybody to look at that. Look at that. See that? Oh, yeah. Tell me, look at that and say goblins aren't real. Look at that image and say goblins aren't real. You can't. So many people want to deny that goblins are real. Oh, yeah. And they see the proof, and they see the proof like like, like this, and they deny it. They It's like uh, how people deny COVID is real. It's like, look at the proof. Look at the proof. Boom. Oh, yeah. You can't look at that and say goblins aren't real. We have a video that starts out as a friend filming their person who is in turn taking a picture of them. It's not long. Oh, wait, that might be faked. That just looked like it was a person and not a goblin. Goblins might be fake, actually. Until we see an image of a small creature-like presence. No, oh, that's yeah. just, that's literally just a person. It's not a creature. It's behind them. When the creature starts moving, it almost... That's like a kid wearing a red t-shirt. No, it doesn't even look like a goblin. Looks like it's a dressed monkey, but the creature doesn't move like <laughs> dressed a monkey, a monkey. And doesn't behave like one. Once it gets behind a bush, it takes a minute to stop and just sit there watching the cameraman. The people don't seem to be too frightened because they have no clue what it is. Or because it's a it's a small child wearing a red t-shirt. After a minute, it takes off into the wilderness to never be seen again. Do you think any of Whoa, these what the fuck was that? Goblins were real or did they all have simple explanations? Well, most of them are real.